Up next, the Bad Buy Tour. That's right. I will buy it. And if it sells, it sells. And if it doesn't, it's a stinking bad buy. Wednesday, December 21st, stroll on Main Street, Newark. Had to pick something up at CVS, so I walked uh, about a mile to do it instead of pay for parking. As I go back to further the pain at the Goodwill here on right off of Main Street. Nobody's here because they're all went home for the holidays, most of them anyway. So, while in Newark, get your clothes at uh, the Five and Dawn. Very famous spot. Used to buy beer pants there back when we were selling in the 90s. One town that knows how to build it back better is this town. When they tear down shacks, they place them with cool looking buildings. That's the guy I think I was avoiding. The meter made. So, he's giving people tickets because they uh, parked in the street illegally. A lot of places to eat here too. Not bad food either, so. Right here used to be the stone balloon. They tore it down because it was a dump. They replaced it with the new stone balloon and condos. Pretty nice. Never heard of that place, but another place to eat. Homegrown, and I'm not talking about wacky weed either. I'm talking about homegrown food. Food. Roots. Natural kitchen. So, pretty cool. Kate down on that corner where the cars are in front of. Focus in. Got uh, Aggie down there a few times. Back in the good old days. Five guys. Name brand. So this Main Street, let's go, like I said, further the pain and stop in a few Goodwills just before Christmas. Almost forgot there's Iron Hill Brewery. Not bad. Some good food there. It's all right. Don't even ask. Don't even ask. Now it's time to stay on the pain, the pain tour. Here we go, Goodwill. Somebody's dumping some stuff off. Well, <clears throat> voiceover, voiceover alert, because garbage music's playing in the background. I can't allow my original recording to happen. That's recorded voice, but as you can see, there's nothing here. There were a couple decanters that were interesting from Romania, but they were not worth anything. They were big. I don't think you can see them in any of these shelves, but they were there. This was damaged, so I did not take it home. Right up top, it had a big chip, and that makes it not worthy of buying. Goodwill. I just got a senior discount. I don't know if I should be happy, 
and salt it or just go with it. Over 55, they consider a senior. Well, I got it by five years, almost. So, first treasure, a stinking vintage tea maker, coffee maker. Now I gotta find my car. That is definitely a sign of being a senior. has been found let's go to another one of these and further the pain return to bear this is the goodwill i've done the best in let's see if anything can happen well here we go with more of garbage everywhere it's just a bunch of junk except I did see something of interest, and I actually probably would have bought it, but you'll see it in a few minutes. All this stuff is just knickknacks and stuff you throw in the trash. It's it's There's nothing here. But that's at most Goodwills when you look for glass and pottery. This right here was interesting. This is some kind of egg plate, and I forget the name, the creamer, I think, on the bottom, and it had a number, but it's too bad damage. I through a bunch of DVD players. I actually bought one for six dollars and ninety nine cents. Is it a bad buy? It is a Toshiba DVD video player SD twenty three hundred. Now they comp high; they're selling for a hundred and more. Or is there six thousand of them online? We're gonna find out. Is it a bad buy? I bought that DVD player because not that. The guy I, one of the guys I follow uh, buys those, but I grabbed it because it's Chris's uh, treasure chest. He's always showing them on Antiques and Profits show. There's Chris's treasure chest up there. Uh, he is somebody you should subscribe to, by the way. He's right there. Chris's treasure chest. But uh, let's see what happens. And I'm not going to blame him if this doesn't sell because it only costs me a few bucks. So. If it sucks, I'll just uh, drop it back off at Goodwill. Got to take a chance because there's a lot of these stinking uh, stereo stuff in these stores. The DVD players, piles of them. And some of them were high end. So I checked like 15 of them and the Toshiba one was probably worthy of me buying. So let's see what happens. That's it for today on the Bad Buy Tour. Uh, a coffee pot vintage and a uh, Toshiba DVD player so we're gonna list them and we're gonna see and if they sell within a year I'll show you see I was right I will list them and uh, I will sell them hopefully uh, so I can show you within the next couple months. Hey, not bad buys after all, but a total of, uh, let me see, seven and five, 12 hours spent on what could possibly be over $150 eBay. So just farting around. And if that DVD player actually sells, I'm going to start looking at those because there's always a pile of electronics at, uh, Goodwills in my area. So if I can't get the cool stuff, I'll buy boring things to sell for a lot of money. And that's okay too. So till the next time, I say later.